This is Hank North reporting for the Bureau of Street Services and here's what's happening now. I'm here with Asphalt Plant Supervisor Randall Scott. Thanks for having us down here, Randall. Thanks for uh, coming out and seeing it. Not a problem. Can you tell us where we are today? Yeah, we're here at uh, Asphalt Plant 2, one of the two uh, municipal asphalt plants that the city operates. Now what is asphalt and why does the city manufacture it? Well, uh, asphalt is uh, a combination of uh, different sizes of aggregates and asphalt oils along with mineral fillers that uh, the city uh, manufactures to uh, lay down for our city crews to resurface the streets. How is the material made? Well, this is what's known as a satellite plant. We get the uh, rock and sand uh, from a quarry nearby. All right, here we are in front of the aggregate bins where the uh, different size of rock and sand come in. We have three quarter inch, half inch, three eighths, and different types of sand, a bit sand and a wash con sand. All these different aggregates are gonna be blended together. Okay, we're directly below that rock and sand that we just saw. Right here you can see the main belt. This is where the aggregates are vibrated onto the belt according to the different type of mix. They're brought over here to a cold elevator where they're brought upstairs and dumped into the dryer. Okay, after the rock and sand go up into the dryer, inside the dryer there are different lifters that lift the aggregate up and create a veil. At the other end of the dryer, there's a 75 million BTU gas-fired burner that is heating and taking the moisture and heating the rock to approximately 300 degrees. In addition to the aggregate and the asphalt oil, here we have what we call wrap, which is the uh, recycled asphalt pavement that we profiled off the street. We're putting 20% of it back into our mix to save the city a lot of money every day in aggregate costs and oil costs. And we're inside the control room at Asphalt Plant 2 where asphalt plant operators are controlling the aggregate feed, the mixing and blending batching computer, the loadout computer, they're controlling the temperature of the aggregate and they're also putting in the proper mixes per the asphalt lab for each type of application that, you, uh, that we run on the street. After the asphalt is completed, the temperature is correct, we then store it in two 270 ton storage silos. This enables us to maximize the plant's capacity every day. How hot is the material when you actually make it? Um, on average, uh, we, we produce it at just a little over 300 degrees here at the plant and we load it onto the trucks and uh, by the time it gets out to the streets where they lay it down, it's averaging about 280 degrees when they lay it into the machine. Thanks for having us out today, Randall. Uh, no problem. My pleasure. Thank you, guys.